Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be um, an unpackaging of an order from Jet Pens. Uh, it just came in the mail today, so I'm going to let you guys all see what I ordered. I don't think I ordered too much. I think I got some stickers and some other stuff, so let's get right into this. Oh, here we go. All right, so here is my order. Here we go. So the first thing I got were these um, carabiners. They're, um, this one is in rose gold and this one's in black. And I actually got, um, my work bag is actually black and gray, so I'm probably gonna put this one on there, um, on the handle of my work bag for, just a place for me to put my car keys when I'm at work. Um, I thought maybe also I could hang my water bottle from it. And then the rose gold I got for my keychain, and I really like the, the rose gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully it's not too glary, so I apologize if it is. But, um, but yeah, so I got those. And then I got some Tombow dual brush pens, and I got the kit, the color kit uh, called Cottage. And these are brush and fine tip in one pen. They're water-based and they're blendable. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about using these. I actually saw a video of somebody um, using these brush pens uh, on like a piece of plastic and then adding water to it and just using it as like a watercolor type thing. So I, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about these. Let me see if I can open this without cutting myself. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh, all right. That opened up easier than I was expecting it. So, yeah, here they are. Wow. Yeah, again, this is the color palette called Cottage. Oh, there's a glare. I'm sorry about the glare. Cottage. And these are the colors that come there. So let me see if I can find the colors on here. Um, I guess they don't have the name of the color, they just have the number. So I have 757, 192, 312, 992, 679, 910, 526, 993, 946, and 772. And then again, these have like, um, oh, that's not, it's on there pretty good. So they have like that tip for the, the broad stroke. And then they have the fine tip here, which is really nice. This is a really pretty color. It's almost like a, like a dusky pink color. And I like this. I like these two right here too. I like these two. Those are really nice colors. They're all really pretty. This is a really nice orange. Oh my gosh. I'm already thinking of like ways I'm going to use these. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. All right. Let me put these back in the package here. There we go. And we can move on to the stickers. I think this is my receipt. So I'll put that aside. And there's like a lot of cellophane on here. Let me see if I can cut through some of this without stabbing myself. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I always make things so much more difficult than it needs to be. Oh brother, I swear. Like it just... Oh, I thought it just peeled off, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Oh my goodness. I tried it through this without damaging the product. There we go. And then you're probably going to be thinking, well, why didn't you just fast forward this part in the video when you were editing it? That's a really good question. And the answer to that is, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry guys. All right. Yay, freedom. All right, so here we go. These are the print-on stickers. Sorry if there's glare. There is glare. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. 
All right, let me see if I can redo my lamp. There, okay. I don't know, there's still glare. Anyway, um, this is called All the Secrets in the World and um, are contained in a book. And these are just print on stickers. You have to have a tool. Um, where is my tool? I don't, I don't know where that tool is offhand, but oh, here it is. One of these. So this is just like a, a wooden stick. And what you do is you just put these stickers on your paper and then you use the stick to kind of rub it onto there, onto the um, paper. And then you just pe slowly peel it up and the sticker stays. I have a whole book with a bunch of these in it. Um, but yeah, I really like this, um, these stickers. And then here's some fall leaves. Oh, maybe I should just leave it down on my table so there's no glare. So here's some fall leaves. Here is, um, this is called Live Your Best Life or Living My Life, something like that. Anyway, it's got some really pretty images on there. This is the airmail set. And what you do is you just kind of take your scissors and you just cut around the, you know, the sticker that you want to put on your paper. And these work really good on the Hobonichi, uh, the Tomo River paper also. Just FYI, I've used those before. And then here are some uh, date stickers. It has like 1 through 15, it looks like. And there's two sheets in here, so I'm assuming that the other set is uh, like 16 through 31, so that it's a whole month. Yeah, it is. There's, it shows the two sheets. This one goes 1 to 15, and this one goes 16 to 31, it looks like. So, yeah. And there's different images and animals and stuff. This one is called, this is my happy place. Oh, it's very cool. I like this one. We have two sheets. This one looks like a kitchen set. So very cool. And then these are index labels. And I got these for my journal. Um, they're just kind of neutral colors. Uh, nothing really fancy about them, but I like the color palette of this. And I thought these would really look really nice in my um, in my cousin that I plan on using as my um, my journal for next year. And then, last but not least, I got another Saul Saul Lighter uh, A6 pencil board. Uh, if you saw my Hobonichi haul, I actually ordered two of these from Hobonichi, and I ordered a third one through Jet Pens. I'm I'm obsessed. I don't really, I mean, I actually really like this pencil board and I actually thought about cutting off the top part here of today and um, actually framing this um, in like, I think it might fit like a seven by five picture frame. And I've thought about just cutting this off because I really like this image. I thought it would look really nice framed. Um, so yeah. All right, you guys, so that's my haul. Thank you for watching, and uh, sorry for all the glare, um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.